At this stage in the course, we have a fairly good idea of how the smart instruments work. The last smart instrument we're going to have a look at is the smart guitar. So I'm, I'm starting to build up quite a few tracks here. And if you can't see the track add icon, all we need to do is scroll down and you'll see it down there on the bottom left hand corner. We've had a look at the smart bass, the smart keys, the smart strings, and now it's time to have a look at the smart guitar. So from the instrument load screen, we simply find the guitar instrument and then we're going to select smart guitar. This works in a very similar way to the other smart instruments. There are a couple of small differences. So on this screen, we um, by default are given an acoustic guitar. And we can strum the chords by going up and down. Or we can hit an individual string. This can be quite nice to add something in. If I was to add this into this composition, let's have a quick listen. So you, you can add some nice strums or individual notes. We can also switch over to a, the single note view by using this icon right here. I'm going to click that. And now we have the fretboard of the guitar. So this works like the smart bass. We can hit individual notes. We can bend them by clicking our finger down and moving it up or down. And we can hit multiple strings at once. And we can lock the guitar into a scale if we like using this little icon here. We can lock it into a minor scale. Those light tiles, as we know, are the root or the tonic notes, the first note of the chord. And I'm going to take that off the scale lock mode. And then under the smart controls, this icon right here, we have some instrument settings. So there's none for this screen, but if we switch back to the other screen, you'll see that it gives us an autoplay feature. So these are some preset autoplay strums and chordal. It'll move through these chords in different ways. We've come across this autoplay in the other instruments. Now we also have some electric guitars using the menu on the top left hand corner. We can switch from acoustic to one of the electric guitars. Let's try this hard rock setting because now we have some extra options available in those smart controls. We have a overdrive pedal and a flanger pedal. These effects pedals will be different for the different instruments that we use. So if I switch over to uh, Retro Wah, you'll see we now have a treble boost drive and a wah pedal. When I switch back to the hard rock, this is now a vintage drive and a flanger, robo flanger. So if we play this instrument, it's very similar to the way we were playing the acoustic guitar. And then we can, that will just ring out as if you've hit a chord there. We can turn this flanger and the drive pedal on. The good thing about um, the way this smart instrument is set up is that it won't, uh, when I strum one chord and then change to another, it will stop playing the previous chord. It won't bleed into each other, causing atonal sound effects. And then we have some autoplay options here as well. And then back on the individual notes screen right here, this will work exactly like we did with the acoustic guitar. We can play some power chords if we like. really nice way to add in uh, some electric guitar into our recordings if that's the sound that we're going for. Um, you can uh, record real electric guitars into GarageBand if you have something like an iRig, a device that will allow you to plug a, a guitar pedal directly in and record. 
You can even, if you have a guitar amp, you can even record using the iPhone or iPad speaker and get some reasonable results. Let's switch back to the acoustic guitar and we're just going to add a strum into this uh, song here. So I'm going to open those smart controls and make sure the autoplay is switched off. I'm also going to open the track controls using the settings and track controls to automatically quantize this recording to eighth notes because I, I'm only going to do one single strum at the start of each bar. So I want it to be locked right onto the front of that bar. So let's give this a go. I'm going to make sure I'm at the very start of the song using this button right here. And then I'm going to record four bars. So that is the smart guitar instrument.